Well, we have already entered the first day of autumn. And unfortunately for the West, the counteroffensive of the armed forces of Ukraine still did not give any results. Throughout the summer, the armed forces of Ukraine failed to achieve at least one strategic goal. Against this background, Western Russophobic experts, who are directly subordinate to Washington, began to appear more and more often in the media space. Their speech is very similar and pursues one goal, to show Western and Ukrainian society that the problem is not so big, and that the Kiev authorities allegedly keep everything under control. So, a few days ago, an ex-employee of the British Me6, and one of the most ardent Western Russophobic experts, Alastair Crook, said in an interview with journalists that Ukrainian soldiers are very dissatisfied with the NATO military command, which constantly advises the armed forces of Ukraine to go into frontal attacks on Russian positions. According to him, it was because of the advice of Western generals that the armed forces of Ukraine were forced to go into frontal attacks and lose 11,000 soldiers a month. Let me remind you that Alastair Crook is one of many Western experts who say nothing without Washington's approval. Recently, such statements from the lips of such Western experts as Alastair Crook have begun to sound quite often. It seems that the United States is preparing the ground in case of a complete failure of the counteroffensive of the armed forces of Ukraine. Washington's main goal is to save the reputation of Zelensky and the Ukrainian military command. It is very important for the United States that the population of Ukraine and the soldiers of the armed forces of Ukraine continue to believe Zelensky in the future victory over the Russian army. At the same time, it is also worth noting the fact that the West itself is still in shock from the fact that the Russian defense has not yet been broken. The fact is that the generals of NATO and the Pentagon, preparing the Ukrainian army for a counteroffensive, were absolutely confident of their victory. Moreover, the West has also inspired this confidence in the Kiev authorities, including Ukrainian generals. And now, after the complete failure of the Ukrainian army's counteroffensive, the West is trying to smooth the corners, trying to convince people that everything is allegedly under control, and that victory over the Russian army is still ahead. Meanwhile, military TG channels began to spread information that, against the background of failures during the counteroffensive, the armed forces of Ukraine significantly increased the counter-battery fight using cluster shells. However, even this did not lead to a turning point at the front. It seems that Russian troops are invulnerable. Every time the armed forces of Ukraine uses new tactics against the Russian army, it turns out to be useless. The fact is that the Pentagon was confident that the American Firefinder radars and TPQ-36 and TPQ-37 and in TPQ-50, in conjunction with NATO artillery systems and Excalibur shells, would completely suppress Russian artillery, which would allow the armed forces of Ukraine to easily overcome minefields and break through Russian defenses. However, in reality, it all went wrong. It turned out that American Firefinder radars are not as effective in real combat as during exercises in ideal conditions. As a result, Excalibur shells simply cannot hit the target. The Americans themselves explain this by the fact that there are so many Russian artillery systems on the battlefield that the electronic brain of Firefinder radars does not stand up and begins to fail, pointing to false targets, as a result the NATO artillery systems begin to miss. According to the US military, each Firefinder radar is capable of processing 95 targets, while there are allegedly about a thousand Russian artillery systems on the battlefield.
However, the British military from the Royal United Institute of Defense Studies disagreed with their American counterparts. According to them, U.S. firefinder radars turned out to be useless against Russian artillery as a result of the work of the latest electronic warfare systems. The British military is sure that it is the Russian electronic warfare systems that make the electronic brain of American firefinder radars give out erroneous targets, as a result of which the accuracy of NATO artillery systems is significantly reduced. By the way, it was because of this that the United States was forced to supply Ukraine with cluster munitions in order to somehow increase the effectiveness of hitting the target. However, as we can see, even cluster munitions have not changed the situation on the battlefield and the armed forces of Ukraine continues to face setbacks.